Hey, what's going on, you guys? It is your boy Lynch Gaming. Uh, we are doing a updated tutorial for the ma manual Lynch control setup uh, from back in like 2018, 2017. So a lot of people have been requesting me that I make an updated tutorial so that you guys can actually hear me and on top of all that stuff and yada yada. So for the guys that couldn't hear me, how is this? Is this better? Yeah, I thought so. Shut up. Turn me up. It's easy. And for the people that uh, could hear me and were complaining that I said, uh, 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 fuck you. So we're going to go to controls. We're going to set up our manual edge controls. And we're going to press escape. Go to controls. Now, the way to do this, uh, War Thunder has added some new features which you can use for manual edge control and some extra buttons as well uh, since the last patch update. So we're going to go to full real controls. We're going to go here. Now, this is where things get a little bit tricky. Uh, you got your throttle access, your pitch, all, everything's default. Um, now, for your hover and stuff like that, because they have Harriers and Yak 38s and, you know, etc., etc. So, a way you want to do that is if you're going to change the uh, hover height. To increase the value, you want it set here. Yeah, so I have it set here and this here because I don't really care for that. It's not needed. You're going to turn relative control on. You're going to go to about 40% because if you go to 100, it's going to be really fast. And it might just mess up your you know, overall aircraft performance and everything. So Now, I have made a flaps preset. You're going to go to flaps down, which is here on my mouse button, if you have a mouse button on your, you know, mouse, I'm sure everybody does, because, you know, gamers, <laughs> uh, you're going to go here, you know, you got your normal gear, brakes, caliber, everything set to left, mouse, space, and drop bomb series, I put L shift, space, fire rockets, F, uh, fire rocket, salvo, L, left shift, F, because my, that's my throttle needs to be all the way up, I don't want it to be shifting all over the place, and then I decided to L, L shift, F to fire air to ground missile because that way it's not going to interfere with the drop bomb series because I think that's what its default set is. And then for fire to air to air missiles, and instead of having like a, a weapons lock, it's easier to just do this. So what we're going to do is we're going to take off the weapons air to lock. We're going to go fire air to air missile. Actually, you know what? Yeah, we're going to need that. Um, fire air to air missile is Z. And it's a lot easier. Weapons lock air to ground is Alt C. And aiming for weapons like this is easy because, well, that's just default. It's like, because, well, you know, it's for like uh, your Nords and your, it's like a, uh, I don't, I don't know if Mavs are a thing too, but uh yeah, there's that, and tracking camera needs to be out because that's annoying as shit. Um, aerobatic smoke is L, cockpit sight is uh, backside. I don't remember what this thing is, but yeah, uh, trim aircraft. We don't really need it because, well, we're going to be not using it for that. Okay, here's where you want to get your shit set. I'm going to use, uh, I think this is like a, I don't remember what that is, but uh, we're going to use that. Maximum value is 2, minimum value is 1, we're going to use relative control, set that to 40, yada yada. Propeller pitch, we're going to set this maximum to 4, we're going to set the minimum to 3, it's going to be assigned to drop guided bombs, fuck guided bombs, because MiG-27 is OP as fuck, am I right folks? So we got that, relative control, we got 40% on that as well. Uh, auto prop pitch is a bit different, you're going to want to set it to 9. And for your radiator, you're going to want to set the maximum output value to 6 and your minimum value to 5. You're going to want a relative control. Again, it'll be 40. So practically, I'm just doing everything based off of how my experience with manual engine control. So if you don't have to follow my own, you can set my... I'll make a uh, thing. Oh, and superchargers are a critical component in like P51s, Spitfires, P47s. Wyverns, etc. I don't think Wyverns, Wyverns are known to have superchargers, but uh, I put right shift backslash as the supercharger. And the first engine control is set on here. Second, third. Oh, whoops. 
There we go. Controls for all engines will be set here. Toggle prop feathering will be set here. This is actually a very useful tool. And before I do anything else, we want to switch back to mouse name. So we're going to go there, switch back to mouse name. We're going to save this preset called, um, can people hear me now better since last tutorial? And please subscribe. There we go. Perfect. And we're going to run a little test drive. So we're going to go here. We're going to throttle up. Takes a little bit for the Chinese variant to get up to speed here. I don't know why it does, but it does. And... That's just like that, we're already up in the air cut zeros. I really like this camouflage, to be honest. So, we're gonna switch this by pressing this. Now, in order to get a proper radiator, radiator, oil radiator... Sorry, sir. Uh, so is that I usually keep my prop pitch on the zero about 85 because that way I keep my mixture set with the propeller pitch because it will fluctuate if you have the mixture set to rich I have no clue why that's just worth under not properly doing manual engine control as you can see my speed is increasing greatly my feel is still roughly about the same on the fuel flow basically it's that rich now in order we're going to decrease our prop pitch we're going to decrease it to 60 now we're going to also decrease our mixture so it's like a there we go and then now we have uh increased fuel flow and will not increase the decrease fuel flow and then on top of that the oil and engine will actually not overheat as well you can literally wet for as long as you want and it's literally the easiest thing you could do too so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did like comment and as or subscribe as it does help out the channel and it's free and if you do want to join me on Discord and or join my squadron, I will have both of those links down below. And if you would like more content like this, let me know because my last video didn't help you guys and this is a remastered video. So, um, so yeah, I hope this helps you guys. So, yeah, until next time, hope you guys are staying safe and keep checking up on your loved ones.